Okay, so we have found rust. I've taken the wheel arch liner out and um, let's get a torch on it. There we are, that's the damage. That hole there is obviously not meant to be there. And also what tends to go is, is underneath, under this bit and the inside portion, which is covered in this horrible, really thin underseal that obviously does nothing. So um, yeah, this needs a bit of welding. I think I need to call Mr. Mark Evans. Once you start poking at it, often it's a lot more extensive. And I'll bet my bottom dollar that the other side is exactly the same. So it just pulls away, that does. And there is part of my cell. <laughs> Not good. So uh, yeah, let's get that fixed. Ooh, let's have a cup of tea. Okay, so the car's getting welded up tomorrow and under seal. So it was booked in for an under seal a long time ago, but because of what's happening, then I've had to delay it and delay it because Wales and England have been in different lockdowns. So um, yeah, prepping for the drive to Wales tomorrow. I think it's about 80 miles each way from where I live, so it's 160 miles in total. So I'm just going to check the oil and the coolant uh, because I don't really want to be doing that at 6 o'clock in the morning. I've got my sill in the car. Luckily it just fits in the passenger seat because the sill is off. Can you see it there taking up the passenger seat? Wow. Coolant should be fine and oil I check it all the time so it should also be fine. Getting all the comfort on this road trip. Boom. Maxed out soft. Same on this side. Soft and squishy and soft and squishy and soft and squishy. Ride comfort, yay! Okay, good morning boys and girls. Um, I'm not sure if you can see me, it's quite early. Um, we're still in the sixes, so it's 6.50 at the minute. So I'm trying to get the car there for half eight. Quite a long way ahead of us. I've got a full tank of fuel and some music though. So when it lightens up a bit, I'll try and uh, film a bit of the road trip. So let's head off. <laughs> Okay, so we have made it to uh, sunny Wales. I'm sure it's colder here than it is in England. Just had a quick chat with Mark. He's started work on the car now. I'm very excited. So we're getting a full uh, under seal as well as the holes welded up. So we're gonna have a quick look at the car now. This takes a few days, this process. So Mark has very kindly given me his shop car and then I'm gonna head back and I've got probably about an hour and a half and Mark's gonna send me some pictures of the work that he's done and I'll do a bit of a voice over on that. Okay, so this is a quick uh, look at the car underneath before Mark starts the process and um, it's, it's mainly surface rust under here which is good he says as he pulls a piece off you can see how wet it gets so I pulled the um, the felt out the out the wheel arch liner I imagine that just traps all the moisture in there so from the factory Mazda don't completely coat the car with the underseal so this is the Mazda applied underseal and then obviously they've missed this so this is just painted metal which obviously is gonna rust at some point in its life like that piece there wow so now that the car is on the ramp, it's much easier to see the underside of it. Considering the age of the car, so my car's built in 2006 and registered in 2007, it is in pretty good condition for never having any underside treatment. I'm fairly used to seeing the underside of cars and you can see that lots of this rust that's on my car is surface rust. The worst affected areas, as I already highlighted, are definitely the sills, which have rusted through on the ends. This is where the sill meets the wheel arch. I think it's partly down to the fabric wheel arch liners that Mazda fit as standard, that once they're wet, the water just sticks in them and they never dry out. So I've asked Mark not to refit these. So I'm going to leave Mark alone now and head back in his shop car, which is quite an interesting colour. Oh yeah. Mark's given his car a bit of a fake tan. Look at that. Let's see if this bad boy will do 70. Foot's flat to the floor, 55, 60, there's a golf, 60, 65, 70, hey. Okay, boys and girls, we are back. The Mazda is finished. Mark has very kindly um, put it up on the ramp so that I can show you underneath as to the work that we've had done. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a light and we will head over. 
Okay, so the first step is to cover the car up and make sure that no underseal gets anywhere that it shouldn't, such as on the paint. I asked for my coilovers to be covered up as I wish for these to remain nice and shiny, that nice anodized red color as I quite like the uh, subtle flashiness of those. The second step, all the parts that are in the way are removed, such as the wheel arch liners, the plastic under trays and the exhaust. This then allows room to scrub and scrape off all the flaking and loose rust where possible to give the underseal a stronger surface to adhere to. The holes on my car definitely needed welding up, so the process of removing the rust is the same in this area, but Mark also applies a rust converter made by Hammerite called Cure Rust, which is uh, what the blue patches are in these pictures. I have heard really good things about Cure Rust and the tannic acid within it chemically converts the rust into a polymeric coating. The panel that's used to cover the sill hole is zinc coated steel, which is welded in place, and then this is brushed over with seam sealer to prevent any water ingress into this area again. And next is the actual spray on under seal, which is applied using a spray gun. This is where the prep work really pays dividends, such as masking off and removing all the parts that are in the way, so all the nooks and crannies can uh, get sprayed and protected too. Next is the cavity wax, so the plugs are removed where necessary, and the wax oil product is injected into the sills and the holes, and this is to prevent the car from rusting from the inside out. MX-5s are renowned for doing this and um, it's kind of scary because you can't even see it happening. And um, let's just have a look at the front over here as well. Looks like a whole brand new car underneath. Just to run through this process as well, it's not a um, do once and leave it alone. This is recommended to be touched up every 12 months. It will prevent the rust, it won't entirely stop the rust. Obviously these are kind of old cars and they will rust eventually, but it will really slow down your rust. So anyone who's thinking of having the under seal process done, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, all of Mark's uh, details and uh, Facebook group, I'll leave the links down below in the description so that you can check them out. And also, if you want this process done, give Mark a ring um, or message him on Facebook. There are quite a few members on the group that have had this done. I am now one of them, and I can say I'm very pleased with the end result. It looks amazing under here. Also, as a favor, I bought these sway bars quite a long time ago and Mark has very kindly put them on for me as well as new drop links can you see that on there so these are progress technology sway bars as well as super pro drop link their new front and rear and I will do a video on those I'm quite keen to see how they um how they change the handling of the car. Uh, Mark mentioned that these rear drop links are probably a bit too long and I think they're maxed out on their adjustment. So I need to take a look at that and see if um, if they're adding any preload to the suspension system um, because obviously that's not ideal. But hopefully it's better than having no sway bar at all on the rear because I've been driving it for a, probably a couple of months like that. Thank you very much to Mark at Penryn Service Station. Like I said, I'll put all the details down below um, and you can contact Mark. Join his Facebook group as well, which is MX5 North Wales. I feel a lot better now, so I'll maybe make, go to some events when it's raining because uh, I won't feel so bad about the underside of my car. For those of you that's saying this is adding weight, yes, it adds a little bit of weight, but ultimately the car's gonna last longer so I can make more videos. Hope to see you soon. Remember, rice tighty lefty Lucy, and uh, hope you're all having a good Christmas as well. Cheers, bye. Thank you.